Hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man, and today we are going vintage back to the year 1984 by Milton Bradley. It is a two-player only game, ages 10 to adult. It is called Input. Now in this game, what you are trying to do is capture all of your opponent's circuits as you're going across the board. That's all there is to it. But how you move these circuits around is the key. Hey, let's head on over to the gamer's table where I'm going to show you how to play Input. All right, everybody, here we are at the gaming table with Input. Here it is. So now, as you see in front of you, this is the super computer from 1984. Feast your eyes on it. Ooh, yes, from the year 1984, it is input. All right, with a fancy, smancy computer and circuits. So what you have is the, the actual game board. You have the instruction booklet right here. And you also have six circuits for each player, one being blue and one being orange. What you'll do is you can go ahead and take these circuits out and place them in the little starting grid down here. This is where each player is going to go ahead and place his or her circuits down in front of them, like so. Okay. Same thing for this side. They're going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to lay them in front of you. There we go. And now the game is ready to begin. Now the object of the game is you're trying to capture each other's circuits. And by doing so, as you'll see, each one of these circuits has a certain pattern. Now you see the, the grid matches the grid that you see on here. You'll see the starting position, or the very first position that you could place it on the board would be in the middle. So this would actually go end up going here. And what you would do is you would move it to the corresponding spots that are around here. So you see this is diagonally one, so your next move on this circuit would be here. Then your next move would be here. Then your next move would be here. And then the next move would be in the middle, right above where you started. And so on. So each circuit tells you which way you begin and how your circuit is going to go along the computer. But first and foremost, the very first move you make, whatever circuit you choose, I'll be the orange player first, is you have to put it in the starting position first. So let's just say I decided to put the circuit here. Now this player is going to go ahead and look and see what they have, and they'll go ahead and place whatever circuit they want to begin with in that one. Now after seeing this one, I might not want to start with this one, so what I am allowed to do is I can take a second circuit and place it right on top. I can do that. Now if you want, you can put all six on there, but the thing is, once you stack on top, that's the one you must use. You can't go through them all and go, I want to do this one and pick from the middle or the bottom. Whatever the top one is, that's the one you have to choose. So let's just say, for instance, I put this up here. This player decided I'm going to go ahead and start this circuit. So you can see the little circle, the open circle, says you must start over here. So he's going to go ahead and place it right over here. I say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start mine as well. And this one tells me to start right here. Now this player is going to go ahead and take their turn. Say, I'm going to go ahead and place this over here. Get another circuit ready to go. Now I can either begin this one right here, or I can push this one over here, whatever I so desire. Let's just say I go ahead and do this. All right. This player decides, okay, actually I should put that on the bottom part because you want the starting part in the bottom. And let's just say he took it out here. Now let's just say he did not really pay attention because my next move was right here. So what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and take this and capture this circuit. This circuit goes here and I place it right in in front of my area here. This is where I should put it this way. They go this way. That's how they fit in here. And then I just captured one of the circuits. Now he gets on. And then the orange player go, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. I'm in the middle. Boom. And I can go ahead and capture that one. And he would be captured. And that's pretty much how the game works. And this player put place one out here. Obviously, he wants to get this circuit out of there because this one starts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this here. He decides, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this here, and so on. And that's pretty much how the game goes. You're going to follow the circuits. Now, if you reach the end of the circuit, let's just say, see, we went here, here, and then this was the end of this circuit here. 
At the end of the circuit, what you can plan on doing is either place it back into the starting position, or you can go ahead and place it back at your home base. Either way, that's how you do that. Once you complete the circuit, then you're able to choose either here or here. Now, the one thing you do not want to do, or you can't do, I should say, now you might be able to stack them on top here, but you cannot stack two of your circuits on top of each other. So say you have one here and this one, you cannot place another circuit on top like that. The only time you can do that is if you're in the starting row, that's when you can place two on top of each other. Okay, just want to make sure that I point that out as well. And that's pretty much the game. You're going to go ahead and either place it in the starting position, place it in the, in the game grid here, and whoever captures the other opponents, all six of their circuits, wins the game. And that, my friends, is input. So let's head on over to the game room, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on input. I like this game. I really do. I mean, it's for 1984, and they came out with a game like this. The only thing I wish they would have had more circuits. Maybe they would have had some spare circuits, maybe 8 to 12, maybe even 16 or so. And then you just play with the 6. I think that would have been pretty cool. Uh, that way you can intermix them and, and change them up and everything else. But everyone has the same circuits in this game. Man, it's only a 2-player. Uh, this would be kind of interesting if it was a 4-player or something like that. That would be really cool. But it is a 2-player only game. And you can see once you uh, capture them, you put them in this little tray... But I think it's a really cool little game. I mean, it's not like it's it's that easy. I mean, you really got to pay attention to what your opponent is putting out there. And you can't just place your tile out there. You have to place it in the beginning section first and then take it out. And just pay attention to how the circuits go. Each one of them goes a different route. And you just got to pay attention to what your opponent's putting out there. And then your opponent's got to pay attention to what you're putting out there. And then you have to pay attention to where your circuit's going to go next. Hopefully, you'll be able to snag one of your opponent's circuits. Kind of cool, you know, and then once it finishes its circuit, it goes back. You can either place it back in the home row here or place it back in your in your tray down here. So for a game that was made back in 1984, I think it's fun. I'm going to keep it in my collection just because I know it's a classic, and uh, I, I like it. It's pretty cool. I found it for just a few bucks in McKay's down the street last weekend. I was very happy. I was like, wow, input's here. I've never seen that here before. So I had to snag it for a few bucks, and it's definitely worth it. I wouldn't pay too, too much for it, but if you can find it at a thrift store for just a couple bucks, definitely get it. I highly recommend you get it. I'm giving her a thumbs up, and that is my review on Input. So as always, let me know. Do you have the game? Do you enjoy it? Do you not have it? Um, so let me know in the comments down below, and uh, that's my review. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, click on that subscribe button today and that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, happy gaming.